Today's Bible study is titled, Where is Then the Blessedness? Previously, Paul expressed his concern regarding the Galatian believers, saying, I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. We noted that this was in no way a concern regarding their salvation, but obviously the fruit of their salvation was in question if they continued pursuing the tenets of the kingdom gospel instead of standing fast in the liberty of grace, Galatians 5, verse 1. Today, Paul continues to remind them of what he had previously taught them. Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am, for I am as ye are. Ye have not injured me at all. Ye know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at the first. And my temptation which was in my flesh ye despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. Where is then the blessedness ye spake of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, ye would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Galatians 4, verse 12 to 15. Let's take a closer look. Paul states, Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am, for I am as ye are essentially begging them to be free from the law requirements of the kingdom gospel and to live and walk in grace per the gospel of the grace of God that Christ revealed to Paul in the mystery. He further says of the Galatians in their departure from his teachings that they have not injured me at all, essentially noting that their departure from his teachings was hurting them, not him. And this is true for all members of the body of Christ who attempt to follow legalistic teachings of any type. Paul then reminds them of their previous love for him when he introduced and taught them to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Romans 16 verse 25. Even though Paul had an infirmity of the flesh, which was apparently an eye problem as noted, ye would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Galatians 4 verse 15. They despised not nor rejected Paul or his message. Rather, they received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus, showing that the Galatian believers had previously acknowledged Paul as their apostle and received the message that Christ instructed him to share with them. And so his question and the point of this line of discussion, where is then the blessedness he spake of? In other words, had the sum that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, Galatians 1 verse 7, robbed them of the blessings of God's grace in daily living? And with this question by Paul, We must assume that being robbed of the blessings of the gospel of grace is quite possible for those that pursue legalistic living instead of grace for the living. Remember, believers receive Christ in simple belief by grace through faith, and we are instructed thereafter, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Colossians 2 verse 6, so post-salvation The believer's walk is on the same basis as the believer's salvation. Believer, recognize that legalism will rob you of the blessings of grace for the living. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.